We are Andrew and Shudda. When we reached Applecross itself, we were a little bit confused because there was no NT500 specific sign. After missing the turning, we asked the local and did a quick U-turn in the town. And then we went up through the Applecross Pass. The pass itself is not suitable for large vehicles or caravans because it's very narrow and incredibly steep up over the top of a mountain. Sure. Maybe go down. Pass. Pass. This is yeah. the place, people. We need to go back. Go back. People, go back. Oh, this is the Van David. Oh my goodness! Look at that. You okay? That one was full lock. Oh my goodness. It's quite a scary pass to drive, I would say, with some of the roads being incredibly narrow. It is by far the most beautiful and spectacular drive that I've ever done, though. The single track, 11.5 mile stretch, winds its way through the mountains of Applecross Peninsula. It's been named as one of the world's most dangerous roads. We took the advice of locals saying that uh, we should start early to avoid traffic so that we can enjoy the beauty of the road rather than have to keep on stopping and scraping past cars in massive traffic jams. You need to go back, honey. Three point turn on it, isn't it? Go back again. Yeah, okay, Andy. I've had to do a three point turn going down the road before. My God, go, go. Do you want me to go down? Take it. Do you want me to go down? We met a tiny bird that refused to move in the middle of the road. Oh, oh no, he's on the... No, 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 let me go down. Let me go down. Yeah, you, you managed to get past. I want to move, didn't we? No. Okay, we, are just, we just ended the apple cross now. How are you feeling? Continue on eight, eight, nine, six. We've done it. Yeah, we done it, but it was really scary, wasn't it? Yeah, it's on scary road, and I wouldn't want to do that. If I met an RB up there, I'd be so stuck. 